Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. In this update, we are going to talk about our next potentially major snowstorm for the eastern United States. One very important thing I would like for everyone to notice is how much uncertainty there is right now. This is why I've made sure to emphasize that there are still big questions with this storm, so don't take anything you see in this video too seriously. If you do enjoy the following, I will ask that you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest information when we know more. Without further ado, let's start talking about this storm. We are going to review three weather models in this video to get a good idea about this storm. This is the GFS. This model shows an area of moisture in the Gulf of Mexico trying to converge with this band of snow over the mid-south late this week. They come together somewhere over the mid-Atlantic, bringing snowfall as far south as upstate South Carolina, to places along the I-95 corridor, before turning into a pretty strong storm system for the Canadian Maritimes. Now for the Canadian model. This one is extremely different than the GFS. This one shows a piece of energy coming from the western United States, which could crash into this other area of moisture over the Atlantic. When these two areas meet, they create a monster of a snowstorm for the entire northeastern United States. This is very different to the previous model run, so it's hard to say which one you should believe, which is why I ask everyone watching this video to just wait until we have more model agreement before drawing conclusions. We have one more weather model to talk about, which is the European. This one is yet another one which spells a different story. Instead of a major snowstorm, this model only shows a very weak piece of energy that could drop very small snow totals from North Carolina to Cape Cod. If we compare the three models we just discussed, we can see that the GFS showed more of a nor'easter-styled storm, with some snow in parts at the southeast and then up the I-95 corridor. The Canadian was a lot more exaggerated, showing the storm riding up the coast, bringing snow for all of the northeast, not just the far eastern portions like the GFS showed. The European on the other hand, showed nearly no storm, with a very small area of light snowfall. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update. It's still too early to talk about snowfall totals, because things will continue to change with this storm. I'll be sure to include more details in my upcoming videos, so if you don't want to miss out on more weather updates, make sure to subscribe to the channel.